All right, we are starting a new week with colder weather than you might be expecting for this time of year. Let's get the details from meteorologist Ray Petlin. Hello, Ray. Hey, Ken, it's May, but we're dealing with some frost advisories and even a freeze warning. And this is for areas well north of Pittsburgh, but still in our area. Mercer County, Venango County, Clarion, Jefferson County with the frost advisories. Freeze warning for Forest County. And this means that if you have plants you care about, don't leave them outside or at least cover them up tonight because we're going to see temperatures that are going to flirt with freezing and that could damage or kill them. Now, we have clear skies in Pittsburgh right now. A beautiful looking shot from the north shore towards downtown. We have a current temperature only in the mid 50s, so it's a chillier setup. And with it, we have this wind that's 10 to 15 miles per hour to the northwest. This is going to die down tonight and into the day tomorrow. We're going to have cooler temperatures as a result. So look at these numbers. 54 for Pittsburgh, 55 Connellsville, 62 is the warmest. That's down in Morgantown. You go to Greensburg, it's 55. Cranberry, 52. North of Cranberry, there's still a little additional cloud cover hanging on, and that has helped keep those temperatures down. It's only in the mid to upper 40s up there, and that's going to help out with some cooler temperatures tonight. Once those clouds do break, those temperatures will fall rather quickly. 56 degrees for tomorrow, well off the average high of 68 degrees that we have for this time of year and this setup is going to last throughout the course of the forecast it's going to be a chilly one with some temperatures not even making it out of the 40s for high temperatures now as you look back to the west you will see some activity this is the next system that's going to try to come in oftentimes these systems have a warm front element to them we are not going to get to see the benefits of the warm part of this system. It's going to cut to our south. And with that being the case, it's going to get close enough to give us moisture, not close enough to give us the warm sector or the warm part of this system. That means with the colder temperatures and moisture moving in, there's going to be some snowflakes trying to show up as we head into parts of this week. And one of those parts is as we get into Wednesday. So tomorrow, the clouds come in. I think most of the day is going to end up dry. You'll notice that once we get into the afternoon, maybe a spotty shower in a couple cases. And this will be rain. It's going to be warm enough for rain here. Now, Tuesday night into Wednesday, the rain becomes widespread. And as those temperatures continue to drop by early Wednesday morning here, before sunrise, we're looking at some snow showers trying to develop, especially in areas of Pittsburgh and points north. But those temperatures stay cool into the morning where we're going to see several areas with snowflakes early Wednesday before transitioning to rain and then quickly coming to an end. Thursday, a lot brighter, still chilly, but we get it some incoming sunshine and incoming sunshine really helps warm us up this time of year. So here's how the forecast goes tonight. You're looking at 36 degrees, partly cloudy, some frost especially in uh, areas north of Pittsburgh. Winds become a little lighter, about five miles per hour coming out of the northwest. Same deal for tomorrow, but tomorrow's going to be a mostly cloudy day, and it's not until late that we're going to start to see some showers meander back into the area, and anything we see during the daytime is going to be spotty and light, and you can see how this works out. Most of the day is dry until we get to about 5, 6 o'clock. That's where we see the better chance for rain to develop, but those temperatures really struggle to get into the mid-50s for tomorrow. So 56 degrees for that high temperature there. Only the upper 40s for Wednesday, a much colder setup. And again, that comes with rain and snow attached. Thursday, mostly sunny. That's probably the best looking day of the week. It's the warmest day and one of the brighter days. Now into Friday, we see a few showers developing and I wouldn't rule out a few snowflakes in there. That'll carry over into Saturday with uh, the coldest temperatures of the week. A below freezing start, mid 40s for highs and with it some light snow before those temperatures try to inch back upward with some sunshine for Sunday. Showers return Monday.